How you guys doing? This is Jason with Tuna Tech, and today I got something very unique. Okay, so there's a lot of products that I review in this channel, and most of them are smart home, mobile, tablets, technology that I'm very com comfortable with. But there's been a recent thing that's on the news, and there's some skepticism, there's some legal issues, there's some all kinds of stuff with this. But with just that slight introduction, what I have today is this. This is the Flipper Zero. Now, it says here in the box, electronic pet toy, multi-tool educational device. And you got some tags, a Discord, uh, Facebook links. And if you look at it box, it looks like a little mini game player, but there's more than meets the eye. So what is this thing? The Flipper Zero is a versatile, open source, portable, multi-tool for geeks and pen testers. It's designed to make hardware exploration, firmware flashing, debugging, and fuzzing more accessible and fun. So basically, it's a tool, educationally, it helps you learn a lot of things. The Flipper Zero has a variety of features, and here are some of the features that they, they come with right out of the box. It has radio support. It can communicate with a wide range of radio protocols, including RIFID, NSC, IR, and sub gigahertz. This allows it to read, clone, and emulate RFID and NFC tags, radio remotes, and other devices. Right there should give you an inclination of why this is controversial. It's got general purpose input-output interface, so GPIO, which allows it to be connected to a variety of external hardware, such as sensors, actuators, and displays. Um, some of the things that I've, I've noticed on this uh, recently was they even have a an adapter where you can actually play Game Boy games on it using a little screen. You plug it into the GPIO interface. But there's a lot of stuff out there, and you can look this up. It's got scripting support. It supports scripting in Python, Lua, and C, which allows users to create their own custom tools and applications. The Flipper Zero is still under development, but it has a growing community of users and developers who are creating new features and applications for it every day. So I don't know if it's still an active development, but it's been out. They aren't cheap. They run about, after taxes here in the US, about $200, but there's a lot of things you can do with it. So, like I said, it reads and clones RFID and NFC tags. It open, opening keyless entry systems, controlling garage doors and other remote control devices, debugging and flashing firmware on electronic devices, fuzz testing to find security vulnerabilities, creating custom tools and applications for interacting with hardware. But while this is a powerful tool, it's important to note that it can be used for malicious purposes. It is important to use Flipper Zero responsibly and ethically. So that's what I gotta put in here. If you get this, make sure you use it responsibly and ethically. I'm a geek, I'm a nerd, I like to play with stuff, and this seems like right up my alley and I just wanted to see what it was all about. I know nothing about this, I've never watched videos, I mean, I know a little bit about this. So we're just gonna open it, take a, a quick look at it, and just see what it's all about. It says, Flip the world. You got a little flipper sticker. So that just leads me to believe that this is a little more past the development stage than you think because they're actually having stickers. I also read some states in the US and either, even some countries have outlawed the purchase of this. So make sure you check your, with your local municipalities, states, countries, just to make sure this is something that you can purchase and use. But this is a little sticker that they include in the box. You got your quick start guide. Um, and, and it just has some links to other places. Um, as you can see, the inside of the box has some interesting little uh, icons there. You got your USB Type-C charging cable, which is nice. And then you have the unit. And this is what I've seen multiple times on multiple videos, but this is what it looks like, you guys. So you got a little screen protector here. You that wasn't very exciting for a poll, but either way, uh, you got memory card slot, USB type C. There's your, your GPIO interface. There's your IR blaster. And it looks like you got some pogo pins on the bottom here too. I'm not really sure what those are for yet. Uh, 
uh, looks like it's part of the GPIO interface. Okay, all right. So uh, to wake up, I, I'm gonna assume it probably doesn't have any battery. I mean, these things are, the, the other issue is when you order these, um, you have to wait two, three, four weeks sometimes to get them in. So you can see it turns on. Hey mate, press the air button to continue. It's got this little whale <laughs> logo mascot. And it just goes through and let me, allow me to introduce myself. I am Ranel, or Ranel Hay. I can't even read it from here. A cyber dolphin living in your pocket. So I'm not gonna go through this whole thing, but as you can see, this is the Flipper Zero. It's got multiple, multiple purposes, but I'm gonna preface it by saying, make sure you use it ethically and responsibly. Um, I'm excited to see what it can do. Just basic TV control with the IR blaster, maybe cloning my personal vehicle keys. That way, if for some reason I, the battery dies or I don't, I leave the key somewhere, I can actually use this to unlock my doors without having to have my key with me. Um, but like I said, this has been a quick look and a quick first look at the firmware I'm sorry, firmware, Flipper Zero. Um, I was looking at the box here. It says firmware update. So they even tell you to go to the website there and do a firmware update as soon as you can. So I'm gonna assume you use the USB type C drive or cable here to do updates. I'm not sure, I'm, I'm assuming it does have Wi-Fi built in, but it may not. Um, but like I said, you guys, if you're interested in trying this, go to, I'll leave a link down in the description below and you can see how much the cost. There are some mods and some accessories you can buy for this as well, uh, as well as some of those uh, add-ons like I told you with the interface here. But that's been a look, a quick look at the flipper. Catch you next time.